All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. 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 The item passes. Congratulations, Mr. Vasquez. All right, so the Socorro School District is dealing with a multi-million dollar deficit, and it's still searching for a permanent leader. Yeah, but as of today, Socorro has a new interim superintendent. KFOX 14 News at 9's Harrison Parker spoke to him today about problems the district is currently facing and also how he plans to navigate that as they look to move forward. Earlier this afternoon, I spoke with the newly appointed acting superintendent, James Vasquez, who was previously the deputy superintendent. He comes as the district faces a potential conservatorship with the Texas Education Agency that would leave it in the hands of the state. Now, I asked Vasquez about this and other pressing issues that the district faces as he steps into his new role. Take a listen. The big thing, again, is to address the uh, the audit to the, the recommendations that came out through the Weaver audit uh, and address the TA audit as well. Acting Superintendent James Vasquez acknowledges the need for the Socorro School District to rebuild trust. We know that takes time and, and that's uh, something that we uh, hope to accomplish over the next several months is to uh, be open, honest, transparent uh, with, the, with the community, with our um, you know, teachers and so forth. While most school board trustees supported Vasquez's appointment, two members voted against the move. I spoke with one of them about his reservations. I think we just need to look for an outside person that can give us an objective view on the district. How do you, how do you hold somebody accountable that you've worked with? I was, I don't feel like I was necessarily uh, involved in a lot of the decisions that were made over the past couple years. Vasquez responded to Castellano's concern, expressing his intention to provide a fresh perspective. I started off at the, in this district in 1995 as, a, as an elementary school teacher, and I've uh, worked my way up because I, I, I've only been here on the job actually uh, six months ago. Since I'm still, uh, you know, coming in and looking at the processes. Well, Vasquez hopes to have a list of recommendations ready for the board by April 17th. We'll certainly keep you posted as those plans come to light. Reporting from Far East El Paso, Harrison Parker, KFOX 14 News at 9. All right, so we reached out to the Texas Education Agency to find out whether or not a conservator has been appointed to the Socorro District. They tell us that as of right now, no one's been appointed. We'll make sure to update you once we learn more.